Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner, and today I covered July Patch Day. After yesterday's long video, I'm going to keep today pretty short, especially because it's a pretty practical video that you're probably used to by now. As always, the second Tuesday of the month is Patch Day. Both Microsoft and Adobe use this day to release all of their security patches for the month. Let's start with Microsoft. You can find what I think is the best summary of Microsoft's patch day on the G-Hack site. I'll be sure that there's a link in the blog post associated with this video. In any case, today Microsoft patched security vulnerabilities in many of their products. Of course, there were patches for all supported versions of Windows, both of their browsers, Internet Explorer and Edge, the .NET framework, Exchange Server, uh, the SQL Server, and a couple other products as well. So it was a pretty full patch day. It's not worth going into all the technical details for all of the patches, but do know that there is a critical patch in every version of Windows. A lot of the flaws are remote code execution flaws, like a GDI plus remote code execution flaw, where just by uh, sending certain packets or getting you to open specially crafted content, a bad guy can take full control of your Windows system. So pretty important patches to go and apply. In any case, if you're a Microsoft user, you definitely want to check out Microsoft's blog post on these patches. More importantly, go patch your desktops and servers. I recommend that you have all desktops set to automatically download and deploy patches without any user interaction. The only really downside to automated patches is the small chance of a bug in the patch, but I think desktop clients are pretty resilient. You can reboot them easily. The, the user can figure out what's going on. So I think it's more important to get those patches quickly by using the automatic update. Now, production servers are a different story. If you're using Microsoft production servers, maybe a SQL server as a backend to a database, it's important that server is always up. So in that case, I heavily recommend you test Microsoft patches before deploying them. Hopefully, you've already set up a virtual version of that server, which really allows for easy patch testing. Now, moving on to Adobe Patch Day, it was actually a much lighter Adobe Patch Day, at least in the context of popular software. Today, Adobe released updates for Dreamweaver, Experience, and Bridge. Now, if you haven't heard of those products, they're not very common desktop products. You might have obviously heard of Adobe Reader and Adobe Flash, which almost everyone uses, but things like Dreamweaver and Bridge and Experience are more used by marketing or content creators. In any case, Adobe did fix flaws in those three software packages. I presume that many users out there won't be affected by them because they don't use those particular products. But if you are a person in marketing that do use those products, you definitely want to go get the Adobe patches as well. Anyways, just a quick update. I'll be sure to have links where you can find more details about these patches in the blog post associated with this video. Thank you for watching.